Tygo EX offers a rear seat entertainment system featuring a wide fold-down 8-inch screen and AV inputs for camcorders, games, or even portable media players. In a moment, we'll show you how to turn the system on or off using the remote or rear panel controls. Navigate and select system modes and adjust the system display. Play back your favorite CDs and DVDs and how to use the RSE lock feature to limit rear passenger access. Let's get started. The rear seat entertainment system is operated through two main devices, a wireless remote control and the rear panel control unit. To start the unit, the engine must be running or the ignition key must be in the accessory position. Please note that it is recommended the rear seat entertainment system be operated with the engine running as it can cause a drain on the vehicle's battery. To turn on the unit, press the power button located here on the remote or here on the rear display panel, or press and hold down the RSE lock button on the front audio interface for two seconds. The system will power up and display the current operated mode. Navigate through the current mode on either the remote or on the rear entertainment console. Use the four directional button on the remote or rear panel joystick to bring up a mode specific menu and move around the selections on the screen. Pressing in the joystick or center button on the remote will select that action. If the user is in DVD mode, pressing any one of the four directions on the remote or with the joystick brings up the chapter menu. Toggle over to end and press the center button on the remote or the joystick to return to the current playing mode. When using the rear panel controls, pressing the mode button allows viewers to toggle between different play modes such as AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, CD, DVD, and auxiliary device. Select these modes on the remote by pressing the individual corresponding keys. When connecting an external video player via the auxiliary audio and video jacks, please keep in mind this device supports only the NTSC, National Television System Committee Color System. To play a CD or DVD, insert the disc in the rear DVD deck and playback will start briefly as the unit reads the disc. Audio automatically plays through the wireless headsets as long as they are turned on and the volume adjusted accordingly. If no audio is heard, please make sure the mute function is not on or replace the batteries in the headset. In order to play the CD, DVD audio through Borrego speakers, set the front audio mode to auxiliary. Pressing the AV menu button on either the remote or the rear entertainment console controls displays a menu of options for the current mode in operation. When in DVD mode, pressing the AV menu brings up a chapter menu, allowing the user to either return to the previous chapter or skip to the next one. The user can also return to the title menu by selecting title. If viewers wish to adjust the screen brightness or contrast for day or nighttime use, press the display button on the remote control or rear panel controls. From here, use the four direction controls to make adjustments. Adjustments to screen settings or playback functions can only be made if the RSE lock is not enabled on the front audio interface. The RSE lock button displays two lights. The top light tells a driver and front passenger when the RSE system is on, and the bottom one is lit when the RSE lock is on. The driver and front seat passenger can lock the rear seat entertainment controls so that the rear passengers do not change the screen settings or playback functions. Finally, turning off the system is as easy as hitting the power button again on either the remote or rear control panel or pressing the RSE lock button on the front audio interface for two seconds. Don't forget to change the front audio mode to another input. We've just looked at the basic operations of your rear seat entertainment system, including turning the system on and off using the remote and rear panel controls, navigating system modes and adjusting the display, CD and DVD playback, and finally using the RSE lock button. Remember to always check your owner's manual for complete operating information and safety warnings.